Hello, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. My co-host, Mr. Brody, just came by the camera there. Get ready to do game four of the 1978 World Series replay. Um, if you haven't watched any of the other games, if you want to check those out first, I won't spoil it. I'll give you a chance here. So this is game four from Yankee Stadium. I won't give any spoilers. So if you, one, two, three. All right, I'm going to assume that you've watched the other games or don't really want to. Um, but anyway, the New York Yankees are ahead in the series two games to one. The Dodgers won the first game in the Yankee, uh, Dodger Stadium, and then the Yankees won game two at Dodger Stadium. And then the first game in New York yesterday, the New York Yankees won. So this is a game from October 14th of 1970 on a Saturday. Game four, it's a pitching matchup is the same as from game one. It's going to be Tommy John for the Dodgers against... Um, Ed Figueroa for the Yankees. So Mr. Brody is in the co-host seat along with Purple Dinosaur there and Blue Penguin and Blue Duck. So let's play some ball. Welcome, Welcome to the stadium, to the stadium for today's, today's ball, ball game. game. Alrighty, so Ed Figueroa on the hill for the Yankees. He was game number one starter. Behind him is Roy White in left, Paul Blair in center, and Pinella in right. Paul Blair getting a start today uh, in, above Mickey Rivers and um, Gary Thomason. Uh, Blair excellent defensively in center with an above average arm. White and, White and Pinella both average at left and right. Uh, ra average range. Uh, Pinello with an average arm in right. White with below, well below average arm in left. Uh, White the more sure-handed of the three in left. And Pinello the most error prone in right. Infield is going to be Nettles, Dent, and Fred Chicken Stanley is going to get a start at short. And it had been Brian Doyle and Willie Randolph. Um, but Stanley, Willie Randolph is not available. Um, and Fred Stanley is going to get the start over Brian Doyle. At sec at first is Chris Chambliss. Nettles is the most short, is uh, has the most range at third. Dent and Dent and Chambliss above average at second and first respectively range wise. And Chambliss the most sure handed of the four. And Fred Stanley um, average range at second with above below average at um, error rate. Munson behind the plate, above average, with an above average arm. And if Ed Figueroa on the hill, average, with a slightly below average at holding runners on. So for the Dodgers, pretty familiar lineup. Davey Lopes, the second baseman, will lead it off, followed by Bill Russell, the shortstop. Reggie Smith is the right fielder batting third. Steve Garvey is your first baseman batting cleanup. Ron Say, the Penguin, bats fifth. Dusty Baker, the left fielder, bats sixth. Rick Monday is the DH today, batting seventh. Bill North in center, he'll hit eighth. And Steve Yeager behind the plate bats ninth. So the only different major difference is Rick Monday at DH instead of uh, Lee Lacey. So that's your Dodger lineup against Ed Figueroa. So Nettles and Chambliss are playing in on the grass. Let's check out Ed Figueroa's stats. Let's see if we have his actual... Oops, that's not what we want in here. Let's check out the stats here. 
starts. Ed Figueroa was 29 in the actual season, 20 and 6 in the replay, 3.27 average um, in the replay. So you can compare his uh, replay stats to his actual stats, actual stats in white, replay stats in blue. 35 starts, equivalent to hit what he had in the actual season. 267 innings pitched, 232 hits allowed, so slightly better um, at that, in that category. 78 walks right on there with a few more strikeouts, 106. Surrendered a couple less home runs with 20. 7.8 hits per nine innings, as opposed to his 8.3 in the actual season. Right, up, right about where he should be for walks and slightly higher strikeout rate and slightly lower home run per nine inning rate. So we will go through the uh, we'll go through the Yankees lineup when we get to that. Let's see if they actually have the Dodgers um, stats. And again, they do not have that. They didn't in last games, and they do not in this one for some reason. So anyway, Davey Lopes will uh, lead it off. He hit 278 with 17 hours, 58 runs batted in. Again, the Yankees up by two games to one. Ferrer looks in for the side for Munson. It's the windup in the pitch. It's going to be off the three column. And that is going to be taking a curve in the dirt for ball four. So Lopes reaches. Chambliss will hold him on. Lopes definitely is a threat to steal. And I think we're going to try to steal here. Try to get a little aggressive here. See if we can get a jump. Figaro steps off the rubber. And it's trying to hold him close. So. Less than 50% chance now, so I'm not going to attempt. I think we're going to go with a hit and run, though. With... So Bill Russell steps to the plate now, 286 with three homers and 46 runs batted in. Here's the hit and run. And that is going to be hit into the gap between White and Blair. That's going to go to the wall. Lopes rounds third, and he'll score from first. So with the hit and run, Russell delivers with an RBI double. So the Dodgers quick strike today. Reggie Smith up to the plate now. He homered in the actual game for the only Dodger runs. It was a three-run blast uh, in the actual game. The game that the Dodgers would lose four game four to three. So Reggie Smith, 295, 29 homers, 93 runs bad in, having an excellent uh, postseason so far with multiple home runs. So Smith looks in for the sign from, I mean, Figueroa looks in for the sign from Munson. Figueroa looks back at the runner, kicks and delivers. It's going to be off the three column. And that's going to be a fly ball to right. Pinella's waiting on it, pounds his mitt, and takes it in as Russell will hold at second. So Steve Garvey up now, 316 hitter in the actual season with 21 homers, 113 runs batted in. Off the five column. And that's going to be a line and a dent as Russell dives back to the bag for out number two. Ron Say up now, 270 hitter, 23 homers, 84 runs batted in. And that's going to be off the two column. Gets a pitch date here. And that is going to be hit over Blair's head. That's going to go to the wall. Russell will score easily. And Ron Say with a RBI double makes it 2 nothing LA. Dusty Baker up now. Dusty Baker, 262 hitter in the actual season with 11 homers, 66 runs batted in. Off the four column. And that is going to be a walk. So Figueroa is struggling so far in the first inning. As he did in the actual game. I mean in the uh, in game one. In the actual game, he would the Yankees would win an extra inning, so he wouldn't get a decision. So Rick Mundy now the DH up, 254, 19 homers, 57 runs batted in. And he gets one to hit here. And that one's gonna carry. That one's gonna go over the head. And another double. So the third double of the inning. Oh, so are we going to have Baker try to score? 
With two down, I think we're going to chance it here. Who's up now? Bill North. He's not much of a hitter, so we are going to send the lead runner here. And we're going to hold the trailing runner. Throw comes home, and he is nailed. So Baker gets nailed trying to score from first, but... Well, actually, no, he doesn't. I'm sorry. He does score. Hmm. That's funny. You know, he would score with a two there. Oh, yeah, yeah. It falls within the range. That makes sense. So it would have to fall outside the range for Stratomatic. So that's 4 nothing now as Rick Monday gets an R. It's a two-run double. So the third double of the inning. So the Dodgers up to f have scored four already. And we're not done yet. Bill North up now. North 234 with 10 runs bet in. North more known for his defense. And that's going to be a fly ball to his counterpart. And Blair will make the catch to end the inning. But the Dodgers score four. And after one half, it's Los Angeles four and New York coming up. So Tommy John now with a nice lead to start it off. Let's check out Tommy John's stats. I don't, like I said, I don't think his stats are available to look at, but no, they're not. So anyway, but Tommy John was 17 and 10 on the actual season with one save, 3.30 earner on average, 213 innings pitched, 230 hits allowed, 53 walks, 124 strikeouts, and 11 homers. He did get the win in, I believe, in game one. So Paul Blair will lead it off. For the Yankees. He'll be followed by Roy White in left fielder. Thurman Munson bat, bats third behind the plate. Reggie Jackson again the DH bats cleanup. Lou Pinnell the right fielder will hit fifth. Greg Nettles the third baseman sixth. Chris Chambliss the first baseman bats seventh. Followed by Fred Chicken Stanley getting a start today. Bats eighth and Bucky Bleepin' Dent the shortstop bats ninth. So the defense behind John is going to be Baker and left, north and center, Smith and right. Baker and Smith average range on the corners. Smith with the best arm in right. Well above average. North and center above average range. And Baker the most sure-handed in left. The infield is going to be Say, Russell, Lopes, and Garvey. Average on the, on the left side and... Excellent range on the right. Russell, the most error prone at short, with Lopes above average, above below average uh, error rating at second. Garvey, the most short handed of the four. Jaeger behind the plate, excellent all around, with an excellent arm. And John, above average range, with a high error rating for a pitcher, and below average at holding runners on. So Blair steps in the box. He hit just 176. During the actual season with two homers, 13 runs batted, 125 at-bats. John looks in for the sign from Yeager. He's the wind-up in the pitch. Off the sixth column. And that's going to be a base hit to left. So Blair is on. Garvey holding him on. White up to the plate now. White 269 with eight homers, 43 runs batted. In. And that's going to be off the three column. And that's going to be a ground ball to short. This could be two over to Lopes one. Back to Garvey. And they turn the 6-4-3 double play. So that'll bring up Thurman Munson, the catcher. 297, six homers, 71 runs bat in. The pitch by John. Gets one to hit here. And that's going to be a ground ball to say. Two hopper. And Munson is out to end the inning. So after one full, it's Los Angeles four, New York nothing. Number nine hitter comes to the plate for the Dodgers on the top of the second, Steve Yeager. Yeager gets one to hit here, 193, four homers and 23 runs bat in for the actual season. Gets one in the wheelhouse and lines it right to Dent for out number one. So one down now for top of the order, Lopes. Lopes walked in his first at bat, came around the score. And that is going to be... On the one column, gets one in the wheelhouse here. And this one's going to be a deep fly ball to left. White going back. 
at the wall and hauls it in at the warning track. So almost not quite enough to get out of here. So two down now for Bill Russell. Russell had an RBI double in his first at bat. And that's going to be a ground ball to Nettles. Long throw over to Chambliss and gets him by a step. So the Dodgers go down in order. One, two, three. And after one and a half, Los Angeles is on top. Four to nothing. So that'll bring up Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson, 274, 27 homers, 97 ribbies. And he gets hit by the pitch. John thought the ball bounced first but the umpire says no and Jackson is awarded first so Pinnell up now Garvey holding him on Pinnell a 314 6 homers 69 runs batted in for the season and that's a base hit past the diver Russell so Jackson will hold that second so remember, Yankees got something going here in the second first and second with nobody out for Greg Nettles 276, 27 homers, 93 ribbies. And that's going to be a ground ball to Lopes. Flips the Russell for one over to Garvey. And this 4 6 3 double play as Jackson moves to third. But now with two down. So Chris Chambliss up to the plate now. 274, 12 homers, 90 runs batted in. Off the four column. And that's a strike three swing. So John, Tommy John gets out of the jam, and after two full, it's Los Angeles 4 nothing. So Smith up to the plate now. He flew out in his first at-bat. And that's going to be a fly ball to right. Pinella gives chase, and he will get to it. Took an odd route to that, but is able to make the catch. So Garvey up to the plate now, lined out in his first at bat. Flies this one to center. Blair, great jump, closes quickly, and makes the catch. So two down now for Ron Say. He had an RBI double back in the first. Gets another pitch date here. Gives this one a ride, and this is going to go over the head of Blair also, so he's going to ha end up at second with his second double of the day. So the Dodgers bring in the offense today. Figueroa's not fooling anybody so far. As the Dodgers have four hits and all of them doubles. So Baker up to the plate now. He walked in his first at-bat as Say tries to get a lead. He isn't going anywhere as he doesn't have much speed. And Baker flies this one to center. Blair glides under it and makes the catch to end the inning. So it remains 4 nothing as we head to the home half of the third. Fred Stanley up to the plate now. Stanley known for his defense. Well, actually not really known for his defense that much, but <laughs> not much of a hitter with just hitting 219 with a homer and, and nine runs batted in. Let me just check his. I'm curious to see his stats at shortstop. Yeah, he's not that great of a defenseman. At least not in 1978. Oh, Mr. Rorty going to the other room. It's a little warm there by the heater. As he had, does have his sweater on as that heater is going full blast. So he's probably getting a little hot there. He's going to go in the back to cool off. Hopefully he'll be back later. Mr. Brody satisfied that the Dodgers have a good lead now, as we are managing the Dodgers. Fred Stanley up now. John looks in for the sign. Here's the windup in the pitch. That's going to be a ground ball to his counterpart. Lopes with excellent range. Gets to it. Plants over to first for out number one. So that'll bring up Bucky Dent. Dent 243 with five homers, 40 runs bat in. 
and it's going to be off the five column. Flies this one to left. Backing up his Baker just a bit and pulls it down for out number two. That'll be a Blair singled in his first at bat, but it was a race on a double play. Grounds this one to Russell at short, over to Garvey, and that will do it. So the Yankees go quietly in the third and trail by four as we head to the fourth. So Monday to lead it off, he had a two-run double in his first at bat, back in the first. And Monday is going to give this one a ride. That's going to go over the head of Blair. That new one nearly got out of there. Uh, no. So Monday takes a wide turn but holds up at second. So Monday with another double. So five hits for the Dodgers, all doubles so far. So Bill North up to the plate. He flew up in his flew out in his first at bat. See what kind of a bunter North is. We might have a bunt. It's a B bunter. That will have him hit away. And it's going to be off the three column. And he's going to draw the walk. So the first two runners reach. First and second, nobody out for Steve Yeager. And Yeager, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a bunt now. Yeah, ooh, he's a D bunter. We are not going to have a bunt. And he stinks at hit and run. So he's not good offensively all around. So we're just going to have him hit away. Hopefully stay out of the double play. And Yeager's going to get one to hit here. And Steve Yeager gives... Uh, it's just going to be a pop-up. Just missed. Didn't get a very good read on that one. Or else it was right in the wheelhouse. But it just pops it up to Dent. So Lopes up now. Lopes walked in the first and flew out in the second. Gets a pitch to it here. Dodgers looking for more. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle. I think we're going to send him. And Monday will score. As both runners move up. So an RBI single for Davey Lopes. Runners move up on the throw home. So that's going to make it second and third. With one down as the Dodgers increase the lead now 5 nothing. As Figueroa out to Munson out to talk to Figueroa. There is action in the Yankee bullpen. Russell up to the plate now. He's one for two with an RBI double back in the first. It's off the one column. And that's going to be a pop up to Stanley. Moves under it and makes the catch. So two down now. Reggie Smith up to the plate now. He's flown out twice so far. And that's going to be a ground ball to Chambliss. Chambliss above average range. He'll get to it. Trots in the bag, and that will do it. The Dodgers tack on a run, and it's now 5 nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth. So White up to the plate now. He grounded into a double place for a step bat. That's a solid single to center. Third hit of the, for the Yankees. First for White. Garvey holding him on. Munton up to the plate, grounded out in his first step bat. Range check on Russell. Which sometimes is an adventure. He'll get to it. Bear hands it over to first. And just gets Munson at first. He knew the catcher was running, so he knew he had time. So White moves in the scoring position with one down. That'll be a Freddie Jackson who was hit by a pitch his first at bat. Flies this one to right. And Smith will make the catch. White tagging. Throw comes in the second as White moves to third. So so White waited for a second. And saw that the throw was coming into second. And put on the Jets and moved to third. So a little bit of a mental error there by Smith. Not throwing the ball to third. Allows the runner to move up. 
So a pass ball or a wild pitch could put the Yankees on the board. So Pinnell up to the plate now. He singled in his first at bat. Gets a hold of one here. And gives this one a ride to left. Baker going back, 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 deep to left. At the wall. And makes the catch as Tommy John breathes a sigh of relief. Looks like the wind pushed that one back. Well, sounded good off the bat, but instead it's just a long out to end the inning. So after four full, the Dodgers are shutting out the New York Yankees 5 nothing, Trying to even the series. At two games, uh, two games apiece. Steve Garvey up to the plate now. He lined out in the first and flew out in the third. And he'll fly this one to left. Towering fly ball. White sprints over plenty of time and makes the catch. So to bring up Say, he's got a pair of doubles on the day. Also knocked in a run. Grounds this one to Dent. Three hopper. Scoops it up and fires to first for the out. So Figueroa wanting a clean inning now. And the Yankees wanting a clean inning. It's one out away from getting that. Well, Baker is going to get one to hit here, though. And so much for that is that's going to go into the gap. Blair's at the warning track, stumbles, writes himself in it as it bounces off the wall. And another Dodger double. So the Dodgers, I think, believe with five doubles on the day so far. At least five. I think they've got, might, might be even six. I think they might only have one single. So Mundy up to the plate now. He's got a pair of those doubles. Also knocked into. Guy just trying to add tack on another run. Off the four column. And that's going to be a fly ball to left. White average range. Gets to it. And hangs on to it. Makes the catch. To end the inning. So it remains 5 nothing halfway through. So that'll be up Greg Nettles to lead it off for the Yankees in the fifth. Nettles grounded it to a double play. It's first time up. John, 51 pitches through four innings. Off the four column, and that's going to be a fly ball at the center. And North drifts over and makes the catch. So the first baseman, Chris Chambliss, up now. A strikeout victim his first time up. And he'll go down again with a swing and a miss. So Fred Stanley grounded out his first time up. Comes out with two outs and the base is empty. And he takes a wave and a miss for strike three. So John in full command. And the Dodgers take a 5 nothing lead into the sixth. So Bill North up now now. He'll lead it off of the Dodgers in the sixth. Fly ball to right. Pinnell is under it and makes the grab for out number one. Steve Yeager 0 for 2. Draws the two out walk. Umpire says he checked his swing on the curveball. So Davey Lopes up now. He's one for two with an RBI. And Davey Lopes gives this one a ride. That one's going all the way to the wall. Paul Blair out there. He's going to jump. Jumps for it. And makes a great catch. So he robbed Lopes of making a bid for a home run. His second time he's hit the ball deep. This one definitely was going out. But... Blair is able, Blair, Blair in for his defense is able to make the catch and save two runs. So two outs now for Steve, uh, Bill Russell. Russell with an RBI double back in the first, one for three. And that's going to go into the corner and see if they're going to send Jaeger. We're going to send, send him. He was off on the pitch. And Bill Russell with another RBI double. So double is the story of the day for the Dodgers. As they've got their, I think, at least their sixth, possibly their seventh double of the day. I've lost count. 
So Reggie Smith up now, 0 for 3 so far today. He's hit the ball well, just nothing to show for it. Pops this one up. Chambliss makes the catch. But the Dodgers tack on another. And after five and a half, it's the Dodgers uh, six and the Yankees nothing. Dodgers in full command. Tommy John pitching a gem so far. Bucky Dent lead it off for the Yankees. He flew out in his first at bat. Gets a hold of one here. And pops one up to his counterpart, Russell. He makes the catch for our number one. So Paul Blair, who robbed... Um, Davey Lopes of a two-run homer. Steps up to the plate. One for two so far. Draws the one-out walk. Garvey will hold him on. Roy White up to the plate now. One for two. Single back in the fourth. Grounds this one to short. Flips the Lopes for one. Over to first. And just nips White. So they're able to turn the double play to end the inning. So the Yankee crowd quiet as we head to the seventh. Garvey up to the plate now, 0 for 3 on the day, looking for his first hit. Grounds this one, 10 nettles, hit it in the wrong spot there. Throw pulls Chambliss off the bag, but he's able to swipe Garvey with the glove for out number one. Ron Say up now, he's got a pair of those doubles with an RBI, 2 for 3. Draws the walk. Figueroa is still in there. Up to 115 pitches now. So Dusty Baker, he has he has one of those doubles. One for two officially with a walk. Pops this one up to Stanley. Calls everyone off. Drifts over a bit and makes a catch. So two down now. For Rick Monday, he's got a pair of the doubles with two runs batted in. Gets one in the wheelhouse here. And, oh, it looks like it rides inside and hits him in the, right in the ribs. So he's down, but he gets up and heads the first. So the umpire gives out warnings after that as both teams have hit a batter. That one was susceptible there. Suspect, uh, that one looked like it might have been intentional. So Bill North up now. North 0 for, 0 for 2 on the day with a walk. And draws his second walk, and that's going to load the bases. So let's see if they decide to keep Figueroa in or not to face Jaeger. And nope, looks like they're going to pull him. So that'll be it for Figueroa as Sparky Lyle comes in. Sparky Lyle, the ex-Red Sox, with 9-3 and 3 on the season with 9 saves. 346 earner on average, 112 innings pitched, 116 hits allowed, 33 walks, 33 strikeouts, and a surrendered six homers. So the Dodgers threatening to break it wide open now. Yeah, we'll leave Jaeger in there. We have a six run lead. And that's going to go off the two column. And that's going to be a ground ball to Lyle. Flips over to. No, uh, Chambliss and that'll do it so 7th inning stretch time here in New York so the St. Louis Browns in 1945 had a one armed player name that player so he's probably a replacement player during the war there I don't know who that is Alright, so if you know, lock in your answers. Brought to you by Mr. Barodi and Miss Mags. Here it is. Pete Gray. Alright, so thank you for that trivia question there. So home half of the seventh. John back out there. Very economical. Six, 74 pitches through six innings. Munson will lead it out. He's grounded out twice today so far. Gets a solid single to the left. So Munson is on to lead off the Yankee seven. The Yankees need to start pecking away here as time is starting to run out. Jackson up now. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. I mean with a uh, hit by pitch. And he'll strike out swinging. 
big cut there by Reggie. And he is retired. So one out now for Lou Pinella. One for two on the day. Grounds this one to Lopes. He will get to it. In the hole. Over to second for one. Back to first. And he turns the 4-6-3 double play. So the Yankees failed to score in the seventh. We'll head to the eighth with Dodgers with a six-run lead. Top of the order to lead it off against Lyle back out there for a second in New York. Lopes one for three with an RBI. Draws his second walk on base for the third time today. So Bill Russell up to the plate now. He's got himself a pair of RBI doubles. Ground ball to second. Stanley has it. Throws a second for one, back to first, and not in time. So four six on the put out. So Russell reaches on the field his choice. Reggie Smith up to the play now. Still looking for his first hit of the day, 0 for 4. And it's going to be a range check on Chambliss. He'll get to it. Chambliss takes to the bag himself as Russell moves into scoring position. So Reggie now 0 for 5. Steve Garvey 0 for 4 also looking for his first hit. Gets one in the wheelhouse. And grounds it to Dent. Over to Chambliss, 6-3 on the putout to end the inning. So the Yankees down to their last six outs. John out there again. Nettles 0-2 for two so far today. And gets a leadoff walk. Walk number two given up by Tommy. So that'll bring up Chambliss. He struck out twice so far against Tommy John. And this time he's able to deliver with a base hit. So the Yankees get something going here. Runners on first and second with nobody out. There's some stirring in the Dodger bullpen. So Fred Stanley up now. 0 for 2 on the day. And they're going to pinch hit with Jay Johnstone. 262 hitter and 65 at bats with a homer and six runs batted in. And he'll get one, a good one to hit here. And he's able to deliver to the opposite field with a base hit. And they hold Nettles. So the Yankees with the bases loaded. Nobody out. And Bucky Dent up now. As Jaeger goes to visit the mound. Goes back behind the plate. So the Dodgers playing back in double play depth. Willing to give up the run. Dent 0 for 2. Flew out in the 3rd and popped out in the 6th. John looks in for the sign. Looks at the runners. Kicks and delivers. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle. Nettles comes around the score. Chambliss will be held. So 6-1 now. As Paul Blair, Blair comes up one for two with a walk and a single. And that is going to be a fly ball to left. Baker sizes it up. Chambliss getting ready to tag. And he bluffs but does not go. So one out now. Base is still loaded. Roy White up to the plate. Single back in the fourth. One for three. And that's going to be a base hit. Chambliss comes in. Johnston holds that third. So six to two now. Still only one out. Hmm. Let's check the bullpen here. Yeah, 
And I think that is going to be it for Tommy John. Hmm, let's see here. As they're going to bring in the closer. Hold on, that's not the closer, is it? Uh, he's one of the closers. Uh, I said Bob Welch is the closer. Actually, we're going to bring in... as Mr. Brody. We're going to bring in Charlie Huff. Charlie Huff's going to come in. So Charlie Huff, 5-5 five and five with 7 saves. 3.29 earn on average, 93 innings pitch, 69 hits are odd. 48 walks, 66 strikeouts, and surrendered 6 homers. So the Yankees... With the bases loaded, Muncy could tie it up with one swing of the bat, although he's not much of a power hitter. So Huff looks in for the sign from Jaeger. Looks up the runners, kicks and delivers. That's going to be a fly ball to left. Johnstone getting ready to tag. He, Baker will make the catch. See if they're going to send Johnston. And no, it's a can of corn catch. So, can of corn uh, fly ball. So, that will, Johnstone will hold that third. So, two down now. Ready Jackson, definitely a candidate to give the tie of the game at six with a one swing of the bat. As Mr. Brody there is getting, getting re in ready in his seat there. He's attacking his seat with a vengeance there. He's very upset that the Yankees are coming back. See what he can do here. That's all right, Mr. Brody. We'll be fine here. Mr. Brody trying to rally the Dodgers on here. So Huff looks in for this. Oh, actually, I think we're going to go to the bullpen again. And yeah, two against righty. So we're going to go to the bullpen again. And now we're going to bring in our closer. Let's see, who do we want to bring in? Yeah, we're going to bring in Terry Forrester. Or should we bring in somebody else? Let's see here. Let's check his card out against lefties. Lots of walks there. I don't like that. <laughs> Miss Mags is coming in to join us. No, he doesn't have any innings pitched. Neither does he. As does he know. Hmm. Possibly Rotson. Or let's take out Cherry Forrester. He's got a walk at seven here, though. I think I'm going to go for. Yeah, we're going to go for Rotson. Yeah. All right, so Rotson's going to come in probably just to face one batter here. Yeah. So Rotson comes in. Huff just in for one batter. Gets him, so... Rotson up to the plate now. I mean, uh, Jackson up to the plate now. So Rotson, two and one records, four saves, 2.95 earn on average, 61 innings pitch, 61 hits allowed, 19 walks, 25 strikeouts, one home run allowed. He's 3L against the lefties. That means he's slightly better against the lefties than he is righties. So that's why he's in there. Probably just for this one batter. So Jackson ready to Griffin Rip steps to the plate. Rotson looks in for the sign from Jaeger. Looks at the runners. Kicks and delivers. And he gets him swinging. So he strikes out Reggie Jackson. And Jackson unable to deliver 
But the Yankees do score two, and we head to the ninth, six to two. So that was huge batter there by Rotson. Got Jackson to strike out. As it's. He didn't think he swung. I don't know. I, th I think he, no doubt about it, he swung on that one. So defensive changes as Brian Doyle. A little less range, but much more sure handed at second. And he will take over Fred Stanley's pitch in batting eighth in the Yankee lineup. So head to the ninth. Lyle back out there again. Ron Say up to the plate now. Two for three with a couple of doubles. Pops this one up to third. Nettles calls for it and makes the catch. So the Yankees could have got two. They could have got a lot more than that potentially. But the Dodgers are able to minimize the damage. So some good good uh, managing there by Tommy Lasorda. Bringing in the right relievers to shut the door on the Yankees. So Dusty Baker up now. He's one for three of the double. And Baker's going to give this one a ride. That's going to go over the head. And the Dodgers continue the double hit parade here with another double. This may set the record for doubles in a, in a, in a World Series game. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but the Dodgers are definitely getting close, I would imagine. So Rick Monday up to the plate now. He's got a pair of those doubles. Also been hit by a pitch. So Dodgers trying to get back one, some th those runs that the Yankees put on. Off the five column as Baker gets his lead. Pops this one out to Doyle. Makes the catch. So two down now for Bill North. North's got a pair of walks today. 0 for 2 officially. Pops this one up to Dennis Short. And makes the catch. So we head to the bottom of the ninth with the Yankees needing four to tie. And let's see here. I think we're going to leave Rotson in there. No, actually, he's a lefty. We're not going to leave him in there. So he is going to be pulled there. And they're going to bring in their closer, Terry Forster. For Forster to come in. Forster, excellent season, five and four with twenty-two saves, one point nine four earned run average, sixty-five innings pitch, fifty-six hits allowed, twenty-three walks, forty-six strikeouts, and has surrendered just two home runs. So the Yankees need base runners. Lou Pinello will lead it off. He's one for three with a single back in the second, and draws the walk. So good start for New York. So that'll bring up Greg Nettles. Nettles 0 for 2 with a walk as Garvey holds on Pinella. And that's going to be a ground ball at the first. Garvey very short-handed. Range cut down a little bit by his... Actually, he has a two-range in it. By his uh, holding the runner on. Able to easily get to that. Throws the second for one. Back to first, and nice double play started, started and finished by Garvey, 3-6-3. Three, three. And the Yankees are down to their last out, as the crowd, have written, the crowd is very quiet now. And many of them have started to leave the, leave the stadium now. Chambliss up now. He's one for three on the day. Forster looks in for the sign from Jaeger, the wind-up and the pitch. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle, so the Yankees not done yet. So Brian Doyle up now. He came in to play second. Let's see if they're going to let him hit. And they are not. So Cliff Johnson to come in to pinch hit. Just a 184 hitter with six homers, 19 runs batted in. Chambliss gets his lead off first. Garvey not holding him on. And that's going to be out the four column. And that's going to be a base hit. So one more batter, one more base runner, and the Yankees will bring the tying run up. And Bucky bleeping dead up now. We all know what he can do in the 
what he's done before. He's got a three-run homer already in this uh, World Series. So as Jaeger goes out to talk to Forrester, goes back behind the plate. Forrester looks in for the sign. Here's the windup and the pitch. And that's going to be a ground ball to Lopes. Range check. Nice play by Lopes to get to this one. Very difficult play. Can he make the play? Fires a long throw in the hole over the, I mean, over the first on the grass. And gets him. I mean, over to second, sorry. And he'll get him. Hey, Miss Mags joining in on the action here. Miss Mags loves sitting by the heater over there. Miss Mags comes in just in time to have the Dodgers celebrate as they tie the series two games apiece. Miss Mags does not like the Yankees either. And she's here to celebrate. Right, Miss Mags? Right, Mr. Brody? All right. So let's get the box score. All right. So Tommy John gets his second win in the series. I believe he got the win in the first game. Seven and one third innings pitched, eight hits allowed. Two runs, both of them earned. Two walks, four strikeouts. 106 pitches. Charlie Huff, third of an inning, as well as Lance Rotson, both got their batters they came in the face with lots and striking out Reggie Jackson with the bases loaded Terry Forster came in pitches an inning allowing two hits walking a batter Ed Figueroa takes a loss once again six and two thirds innings eight hits allowed six runs all of them earned six six walks I didn't even realize that so Ed Figueroa walked six batters and did not strike out a batter wow Sparky Lyle, two and a third innings, allowing one hit. Walking a batter. So Yankees pitchers did not strike out a Dodger batter. So the Dodgers very disciplined at the plate. We're a doubles machine. Let's check and see how many doubles they did get. So Bill Russell ended up with two doubles. Ron Say with two. Dusty Baker with two. And Rick Monday with two. So four players had eight doubles on the day. Wow. All right, I just went to try to look it up. The most doubles by a World Series team, and I didn't, um, for a team in the World Series, I did not get an answer there on Google. So, um, I don't know, if maybe it wasn't Google, on Yahoo, sorry. So, if anybody knows what the most doubles by a team in the World Series game, please uh, mention it in the comments. I'd be interested to know. But Dodgers, I'm sure, are close with eight doubles. All right, so let's check the, the uh, Dodgers hitting here. So Bill Davy Lopes was one for four with a run scored in an RBI. Bill Russell was two for five with a couple pair of doubles and two runs batted in, a run scored. Both Reggie Smith and Steve Garvey, 0 for five. Ron Say, Ron Say, Dusty Baker, and Rick Monday, all two for four with a pair of doubles. Ron Say driving in one run, scoring one. Dusty Baker scoring a run. And Rick Monday scoring a run and knocking in two. Bill North was 0 for 3 and Steve Yeager 0 for 3 with a run scored. For the Yankees, who actually out hit the Dodgers by 1, 10 to 9. Paul Blair was 1 for 3. Roy White, 2 for 4. Thurman Munson, 1 for 4. Reggie Jackson 0 for 3, including a big strikeout in the 8th inning with the bases loaded. Greg Nettles 0 for 3 with a run scored. Chris Chambliss 2 for 4 with a run scored. Fred Stanley 2 for, 0 for 2. Jay Johnson was a pinch hitter 1 for 1. Ryan Doyle did not get in that bat. Defensive replacement at 2nd. Cliff Johnson pinch hitter 1 for 1. And Bucky Dent 1 for 4 with an RBI. So the Yankees did not get an extra base hit, all singles. So that is it, and we're going to get player of the game. 
to Tommy John. It's pitching seven and one third strong innings, allowing eight hits, two runs, both of them earned, two walks, and four strikeouts. So thank you for joining me as the Dodgers have now tied the series at two. So the series will go to game five. And let's check out the pitching matchups for game five of the series. So it's going to be Sunday, October 15th. And it's going to be Burt Hooten back on the hill. I believe he was the game two starter against Jim, Jim Beatty, also the game two starter. And in the actual game, the Yankees would win the game quite handily by a score of 12 to 2 with Jim Beatty pitching a complete game. So we'll see if the Yankees can. Or the Dodgers can take the series lead in Game Five, as this is a big game. As the after this game, it'll, the series will switch, will switch back to um, Los Angeles. So it's guaranteed at least one, there'll be at least one another game in LA. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. Miss Mags is there, and Mister Barodi wishing everybody a happy Thanksgiving. If we do not get a Another ga uh, game in before then, but I think we will. I think we'll probably try to get a game in tomorrow, uh, Thanksgiving Eve. Um, so everybody, God bless, safe travels, and remember um, to worship God for who he is, not for what he does. Although he is, what he does is good too, but what who he is is the most important thing. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.